and salutations, Sir Javians. It is Sir J Spec back with another stream, and we are continuing from our journey here in the world of Teyvat with another episode of Genshin Impact. So from where we last left off yesterday, we were finally able to complete the three temples in the prologue, and now we are worthy to talk to Jean because we were able to raise up our adventure rank to level 10. It involved a lot of wandering and a lot of visiting various places but um, throughout this entire day, but we were able to get it, and um, I'll explain more once we get to the game itself. So stick around. Hope you guys enjoy the show. Let's go get to the stream screen. Oh boy. Monstat looks really different right now. <laughs> Paimon. <laughs> Yep, so as you can see, we're not in Mondstadt anymore, it seems. We are now in Liyue. So if you take a look at the map, um, I am now at Adventure Rank 10 precisely because I did a lot of wandering earlier today. I actually started all the way from Mondstadt over here, where we, uh, where we begin the game. And then I decided, you know what, let's go explore more of the territory so I'll be able to... Um, bring my adventure rank up because for some reason uh, when I finished the temples I was only able to bring it up to level 8 and then uh, I decided you know what let's just do it like what I did in Breath of the Wild which was wander aimlessly in the hope that I'll be able to uh, find the uh, to get all the level up that I can <laughs> so I did and uh, what happened was is that I went down here and then I ended up in um, Dragonspine Mountain. Um, I actually went all the way over here. I wonder why the teleports are not here anymore, but I did manage to get some of the teleports on the way here. And then I climbed up. I could not get this um, Statue of the Seven so I can reveal this territory because it was covered in ice. So I ended up escaping from the mountain because the territory was too dangerous. And then I wound up uh, around here. Yeah, Chongji estuary in Liyue. So I managed to end up in Liyue, and then I decided, you know what, let's just go around here. So I ended up going to all the statues of the Seven here, revealing the area, and now I have the achievement for lighting up all of the Liyue region. So somehow, even though I'm in the prologue, I managed to take care of all of that, and now I can just finally go back to Jean and uh, take care of the rest. So... I'm only missing two regions for Mondstadt, one being Dragon Spine, which I will get to eventually, and the other being the Bright Crown Mountains. Um, I'm not able to access that area right now. Uh, for some reason, there seems to be like some kind of, uh, what's this, force field that's preventing me from, uh, from getting in there. So as much as I want to sneak my way in, um, unfortunately, I'm not able to do that. So I'll just go there uh, when I'm ready. And if you guys are, are noticing why I keep looking down, it's because I am uh, looking down at my phone because I only have one screen. <laughs> I, I'm not, I'm not ready. I don't have a second screen handy yet. So whenever I see your comments, um, I have to look down. So if you guys have any feedback, anything you'd like to share, please feel free to leave a comment down. And I'm si simultaneously streaming on YouTube and Twitch. And if you want to see more of my uh, misadventures, like how I suddenly ended up here in Leeway Harbor, um, feel free to follow the Sergevin Nation Discord. All of my uh, links to my social media are on my uh, on the descriptions of my YouTube videos and on the uh, what's this on the on the about page of my Twitch. So this looks like a really really beautiful place. I think I want to go to that boat one of these days. But for now, I'm going to just, you know, take a leisurely walk through the harbor and drop maybe around this bridge here. And the reason why I'm still here instead of at Mondstadt back with Jean and continuing the story is because as a reward for reaching Adventurer Rank 10, I finally got a bunch of... Uh, a quaint fate. I think that's the term what they use. So now I'm going to make a wish. So I don't have enough for the Venti banner, but I'm going to try my luck here at the Wanderlust Invocation banner. I would like to try getting someone like Keqing 
or maybe Mona. Uh, but I'm thinking more of Kuching because I do like her fighting style. Um, I do like sword using characters. So let's see. So I'm gonna try using all of my uh, wishes, a ten wish, and then wish me luck because my gotcha luck is has never been superb. <laughs> is what I'm gonna say. It's never been superb. So I'll uh, wish me luck, all of you. Um, let me know if I'm going to get Kuching or Mona. Chi Chi is not someone that I'm really looking into, so let's see. Here we go. Oh, we got a purple. Magic guide, okay. Magic guide again. Slingshot. Ferris Shadow. Got a bow. Raven bow. Lisa again. Wow. Alright. So we can level up our constellation then. Alright. Emerald Orb. Ferris Shadow. Amber. Wow. Okay, her constellation too. Nice. Magic Guide. Alright, it's not what I was expecting. So... Yeah, let's... I th I'm actually new to this game, so I'm not familiar with uh, with what they mean by conversion here. But I think this means it's like you're gonna convert them into the constellations and stuff, I guess. Let's see... Convert. Masterless Star Glitter. Amber Stella Fortuna. Alright. Okay, so... Okay, now... Now what do I do? <laughs> Wait, I need to step back a bit. Have I already converted her? You can already tell, this is my very first gacha game, actually. Um... No, not really, it's not my first gacha game. My very first gacha game was Fate Grand Order, but I never... I never... Uh, what's this? Got into it? I was only stuck in the prologue all this time. But when I saw about Genshin Impact and I saw the... Like, the wide open environment... It just blew me away, and I knew that I wanted to try this game. So convert it either to Masterless Star Glitter... Okay, or... Consolation Activation Material. I think I'll convert to this. Well... I don't really know what to do in this part. It's not letting me... Uh, do anything here. There's no button that will allow me to fix this. Maybe we'll do it... Uh... Later on. So, unfortunately, it seems that my luck is terrible, <laughs> once again. But at least we've got level up for Amber, even though I don't even use Amber that much. I just use her for, like, when I um, have, like, chests that I need to open. So, there. Ah, now I can do this. Fires two arrows per aim shot. The second arrow deals 20% of the first arrow's damage. Okay. Nice. Now we go to Lisa. Infinite Circuit. Lisa regenerates two energy for every viol opponent hit while holding Violet Arc. A maximum of ten energy can be regenerated excuse me, in this manner at any one time. Cool. You know what? Um, among the characters that I'm looking forward to, the re and the reason why I went to this game is because I wanted to get Hu Tao. Because um, I just like the way that she acts. And she seems so excited to, for someone who's the director of a funeral parlor. But yeah, she's the reason why, why I got into... Oh, uh, what's this? Into Genshin Impact, finally. Because I've been waiting for the Switch version, but... Because I'm primarily a Switch gamer, but it never got any updates. So... There's nothing I can do about that. I decided to finally take my chance and go play the... What's this? The PC version. And mobile. Although I will say, PC outshines the mobile version by a long shot. But we're done with that. Let's go back to Mondstadt and talk to Jean, like what I said in the title. And then we'll pick up from where we left off.
Okay, so here we are. Let me just make sure the stream is still up and running because last night when I was streaming, um, there was nothing, it was not moving at all. So I didn't want to have that experience all over again. Okay, there we go. Because the reason why was um, before I used to stream at around like 3,500 bitrate, but I realized that while it may work for the, for, uh, the Switch, it's not going to work for this laptop over here. <laughs> I have to recognize the limits of the hardware that I'm using. I'm looking down on my phone. Everything looks smooth, and I'm happy for that because, you know, I really wanted to try, let's say, a higher bitrate to make it, uh, you know, really high quality. But the problem is, even if you have high quality, if you're if no none of your viewers can see it, then what's the point? It's a learning process. I've been streaming for a year now, and um, there's still so much to learn, and I'm thankful for it. I think Gene is in here. Gene? Where is she? Okay. No, she's not in here. We gotta get out of here. Let's go... Yeah, let's just navigate directly to her. And refrain from making a racket. Shut up. I'm I'm the hero here. I'm the traveler. I'm gonna go make as much noise as if I want to. I have hero license. The drink of the day is Nescafe Original Instant Coffee. I do I would like to have more coffee bean co kind of coffee, but it's kinda hard to get that. And I'm not and then sachet coffee. Will do for now. Instant coffee is okay. <sighs> but if you ask me, even though I do like, let's say, my Starbucks Frappuccinos, I do prefer Kopi, the Singaporean coffee. Excellent. Because it's just coffee with, uh, evaporate. Oh, hello. Seems she's talking to someone. Yes, apparently she is, Paimon. Let's let her finish, then go say hi. Which is what has brought us to this point in the first place. If you are unable to promptly deal with the storm terror threat, then leave the defense of Mondstadt to the Fatui. We can put an end to Mondstadt's dragon issues. All we need to do is bring that monster to the... Hello. <gasps> monster? Yes. What's your point? Uh... I'd expect a more professional attitude from your diplomats. Hmm. Yet here you are saying you want to put an end to one of the four winds of Mondstadt? <sighs> I won't have any of this nonsense in front of the Knights of Favonius. <laughs> it's not as crazy as you make it sound. That's, that's rich coming from someone wearing a mask. Who's said to be a diplomat. Fine. That's enough negotiation for today. At this stage, it's simply an amicable exchange of constructive opinions, no? What flowery way of putting it? I'll be sure to make thorough notes. Ooh. Oh, you're back. Yes, I am. Thanks for your help. The elemental flow is finally stable. The aftermath of Storm Terror's last attack is finally settled for the moment. <sighs> However, the pressure from the delegation has become too big to be ignored. Delegation? From Liyue Harbor or in Azuma City? Shneznaya. They choose to follow the god of Cryo. Their envoys go by a particular name, the Fatui. Heard of them? And I keep pronouncing it myself as Fatui. Fatui. Because whenever I hear it pronounced as Fatui, it sounds like all those old old cartoons where they would, you know, do that spitting action into the spittoon. Fatui! <laughs> yeah, so for, for my convenience, I think I'll continue calling them the Fatui. But anyway, that's just me. Oh, them? They're super famous! Wait... Infamous is more the word. 
I don't think killing Storm Terror is the right course of action. The Cryo Gods Fatui have always coveted the Animo Gods' power. I don't believe they have Mondstadt's best interests at heart. Speaking of that power... What is it? There's something I need to show the Knights of Avonius. Oh, let us head back to headquarters then. We shouldn't discuss important matters out in the open. I agree. For a Tomorrow Without Tears, Prologue, Act 2. Mondstadt and Snechnaya are considered the same in status. Mondstadt is independent and does not belong to any other nation. In fact, despite being referred to as a city, Mondstadt is a nation. Though, Snezhnaya's Fatui are known to be the most aggressive diplomats in Tevat. Tevat? Makes sense, given the tone of that woman just now. So rude. Tevat? All this time I've been calling it Tevat. Oh boy. Maybe the, re maybe the thing they want to discuss is the fact that now I have Geo power. Oh, <laughs> that doesn't sound very good. It doesn't sound very good indeed, Vile. Yeah. <laughs> what a coincidence. I love it whenever they have those kinds of things happening in the background. Goodness gracious. Just standing in front of Kaya for a minute. And Wood. Hey, Wood. Before I forget, I need to make one of my corny jokes. Hey, Wood. What would Wood do? Eh? Alright. I'm done. Let's go talk to Jean. It's a crystal embedded with some kind of power. Lisa, are you able to analyze it? Let me take a look. Ooh. <clears throat> I can see impurities in the crystal, but upon further inspection... No, I'm sorry. I can't make a proper analysis at the moment. Give me some time. I'll take a look through the library's restricted section. I always wonder what's in a library's restricted section. Even when I was in university. I'll talk about, about more about that later. Right. I'll leave the research to you then, Lisa. Understood. I'll notify you all if I make any progress. So, I wouldn't go getting your hopes up. They were incredibly ancient texts, not to mention- Ouch! <laughs> Gosh, that hurt! What hurt? Did the drop hurt you? The impurities in the crystal... It hurts when I get close. You didn't even move any closer, Lisa. Oh, I see. It appears to react to visions. Hmm. The impurities and the elemental energy we embody repel each other. It's strange, though. You have elemental abilities as well, but don't seem to be affected in the same way. Hmm. The plot thickens. Anyway, the crystal would be better left in the hands of my cutie. It will just be a pain if left with us, both literally and metaphorically. Um, am I the cutie? Or, or, or are you talking about my character? I'm so sorry. Definitely not Paimon. Paimon's not a cutie. She's emergency food. <laughs> Fascinating. Do you know anything about what makes you special? I'm gonna copy what some of the YouTubers are saying nowadays. I'm built different. There we go. I do not know what to make of it either. Well then, the Knights of Favonius have another favor to ask of you. Am I getting paid for this at least? Please accept the title of Honorary Knight and the gratitude of the Acting Grand Master. Cool. Do I get to be knighted with a sword or something? Honorary Knight of Favonius? Nice. We ask for your continued assistance in finding some answers. <sighs> Storm Terror's rage and strange crystals. I know Mondstadt's peace hangs in the balance. May the wind open your eyes to the truth. We'll meet back here if you find anything. Okay, then.
Cool. Leave the Knights of Favonius headquarters. Alright. It's getting harder to make small talk these days. Even something as innocuous as what fine weather we're having today seems to fall completely flat. Tell me about the library, Lisa. You can visit whenever you need to look something up. I'll go keep stealing some books, thank you. I need to complete it for my collection because one thing I want to do is maybe like record some videos where I read the lore because there are a lot of books and I want to see what they have. Unfortunately, it seems I'm still missing a bunch of entries, but that's something that I definitely want to do uh, moving forward. Naturally, the library is free to access. But there's a restricted area. Just don't forget to return books on time, or you'll make my job difficult. Oh. What about you, Jean? About Storm Terror, there must be something that we're still not aware of. So how do we fight it? Its change in size and power really is suspicious. But for the Knights of Favonius, our priority is to deal with the aftermath of this attack. The Grand Master entrusted the Knights of Favonius to me. I can't let him or the people of Mondstadt down. I must get to the bottom of this. Okay then, let's leave. I just can't take resist an opportunity to take a picture. Okay, I just found this interesting because you can now actually pose the characters. Alpha pose. <laughs> I was thinking. For an alpha pose, he would do both arms. Arms akimbo, but it's just one. So I don't know if that's supposed to be even more alpha than the other. But we're in the middle of Lisa and Jean, who are very good thinkers, so I'll leave it as thinking instead. Hmm. How can I save my sister? That's a very good question. I'll probably use this as a thumbnail for or something, maybe. Okay, let's get out of here. I keep pressing the jump button when I should be pressing the F button. <laughs> Talk to Paimon. Oh, you were out here? What? There's something you didn't tell them. Oh, you knew. The dragon and the crystal weren't the only things we saw. Yeah. We ended up in Leeway. <laughs> we ended up on the other side of the world. I'd like to investigate it on my own first. Or I don't think... I think he's talking about Diluc. Or Diluc, sorry. The red-haired guy in, in the last temple. I'd like to investigate on my own first. So you do remember him, that green guy! Oh, you mean... Pfft. I'm so wrong. Maybe Venti is what they're talking about. He looked just like that guy down there! Oh, that's definitely him. The exact same shade of green, what a coincidence. See? See? Wow, my emergency food is smart after all. Wait, hold on a minute. That... That's the same guy! Congratulations. You got it. You get a prize. Which is the fact that I'm not going to... call you emergency food for the next conversation. Look for the suspicious person. So he went down the stairs. Okay, went up there. Talk to Paimon, okay. That green guy disappeared! Use elemental sight to track him down. Activating eagle vision! Use elemental sight to scout out the elemental attributes of nearby entities. The green fellow left animal footprints. Track him down. I'm happy that games have begun implementing stuff like this, but the problem is when it comes to 
like when I played Batman Arkham Knight or the the Arkham series, I noticed that I kept using like this detective vision. So whenever I do that, I can't see the colors of the world around me because everything was blue because I kept using detective vision. So that kind of made the game pretty boring after a while. No ma even though it was very enjoyable, I, I should say. That way. Up the <laughs> stairs. Where'd he go? Up there, huh? His footprints lead to this wall. Did he climb up from here? No, he floated away. He disappeared. Wow. Let's go after him. Now, I could definitely climb up the wall, but dashing my way up the stairs is a lot faster. But don't do that in real life, folks. I don't know if, uh... I've already tried taking stairs, like, with a gap in between. It's already very hard. So what if you end up running up the stairs? You're gonna end up flat on your face, so I suggest you don't do that. Hello. Where'd he go? Okay, we'll, f we'll follow what he did, and then climb up. If this were any real city, I probably would have gotten caught by the police already. There we go. We're back on the trail, boys! And we lost it again. Quest area reach. Look for the objective. Nice. Up the stairs we go then. Just checking if there are any comments. So far there's none. Okay, let's proceed. Whoa. Wow. I wonder if this applies to the entire team. Let me just give it a check. Or it's only just me that got the level up. I'm level 13. Oh, everybody is almost level 13. Except for... Yeah. I don't know about you guys. Are you guys also leveling the Traveler in your game? Because I've seen that as at the soonest possible opportunity, a bunch of people just leave the Traveler out of the party and let other people take over. Mylas is dropping by. Thank you very much Drop for dropping by, Mylas. Yeah, it was a sudden stream. I just wanted to do this before I forget. Oh, a late stream, he says, on Twitch. Just gonna linger here a bit before heading off to bed. Thank you very much for dropping by. And yes, for those of you who are watching, I am streaming both on Twitch, on the Sergey Svek Twitch channel, and on YouTube, uh, also called Sergey Svek. And again, if you want to see my, more of my announcements, you can head on over to the Surge Avian Nation Discord oh, channel. That doesn't sound very good. That does sound good, Vile. Okay, don't you dare critique my Discord channel. My Discord server. I know we're pretty small at the moment, but we'll keep growing. The folk songs here. Oh. What is to be sung transpired in days of yore, when the Divine Archons still walked the Earth? A dragon cast his curious gaze on the world below, as he parted from the heavens that gave his birth. The dragon sought truth amongst common folk, but mortal trifles only fogged his mind. 
The windborn bard strummed his strings dolce, and the holy lyre answered his questions kind. The dragon was but a child full of wonder, and soared the heavens free from care. The bard's songs invited him to sing along, for he yearned to let all perceive him fair. Enchanting legends the bard and dragon were, but the tides of despair soon engulfed the land. The lion fang perished, and the falcon flag slept, as a vile dragon approached Mondstadt in Lone Stand. Over the cathedral loomed death and his friends. Of the people's agony, the bard soon sang. The soaring dragon heeded his grave calls, and amidst the windstorms a brutal war sprang. Blood of venom sent the sky dragon into slumber, only to awake to be expelled in abhor. Why do people in this age loathe me so? But the holy liar replied no more. Wrath and woe, vigor and venom, poured from the dragon's bitter eyes. The dragon's curse sprawled in silence, but the liar could no longer soothe his cries. Wait, you guys are... Yeah, we're the guys following you. And you seem to be very, very, yeah, bear a very great resemblance to that statue up there, and to the bard in the song, and, as Milas mentioned in the comments, to the red eyes black dragon. <laughs> Maybe that dragon will end up in a do 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 Okay, enough Yu-Gi-Oh references. Let's proceed. Oh, that's right. You're the ones that scared Devalin away. Yep, that's us. Devalin, who's that? That's. That's Storm Terror's real name, Paimon, but I'm gonna say, Lisa told us already, weren't you listening? Huh? Oh, right! Most people seem to call him Storm Terror. Why do you call him that? Are you two meant to be close or something? Hmm. Oh, so close. Hey, so... Paimon thinks this guy has a screw loose. I'm sorry, you are... I'm Venti the Bard. And I want a grande. <laughs> Three-time winner of the most popular bard of Mondstadt, to be precise. Really now. So, what do you need from me? Given you recognize us, Paimon doesn't believe we need to explain any further. Of course it's about Storm Terror! Duh. Storm? Hey, cut it with the amnesia act! All right, show it to him. Oh, isn't this... What? The crystal has been purified? When? Good question. The last time I checked, it was full of impurities. Devalin, he... The anguish he feels has brought him to tears. Tears? He was once such a gentle child, now so full of rage and suffering. I also came across a teardrop crystal. Can you purify it? Whoa. Protagonist power. do have some wonderful abilities. I'm bit I'm built different. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. Someone like you is going to end up getting written into a bard's poem. Oh, a hero so bright, should she stand in the light. Though stand in the shade, and you'll be met by a blade. That's gonna win a Grammy. Alas, I've really not the time to compose a melody for you at this moment. Anyway... Even if Devalin is not taken down, his life will still wither away in the breeze. 
he'll burn himself out in the flames of anger. <laughs> I also feel sorry for Dvalin. Is there anything I can do to help? As a knight, I suggest you turn yourself in <laughs> along with the dragon. <laughs> wow. For associating with the dragon that's terrorizing Mondstadt, I suggest you turn yourself in. <laughs> do you really deem that necessary? No, but I'm doing it for the memes. You can forget about me turning us in for now. I have another plan. Oh? And what plan would that be? Hmm. Seeing this tear has brought to mind a friend so dear. He's rhyming. He's rhyming. Goodness gracious. It's bringing back memories of Shantoto from Final Fantasy XI. I wonder if he can keep it up. Friend? <laughs> One must be going. Hey, where are you running off to? To the symbol of Mondstadt's hero. Bye-bye. He just walks casually off screen. Huh. What do you make of that? This weirdo, as you put it. We need to keep an eye on him. As far <laughs> as he's concerned, you're a weirdo too, you know. But I'm a special type of weirdo. Don't lump me in the same category. No what? His voice seems familiar. Familiar? I don't know. You're alone on that one. Hmm. But did he just say symbol of Mondstadt's hero? Oh, Paimon knows! It's that huge tree! You know, the gigantic one. You can't miss it. Surely you still remember. Of course I did. I explored almost every... <clears throat> Myla says, who is that thespian? That's Venti. Or, I wish it was Grande because I would like a grande coffee right now. But yeah, that's the bard. And um, between you and me, Mylas, um has a very familiar voice. But yes, um, that's someone who is very important to the story. And uh, we'll go ahead and meet them at the tree, which I've already got a teleport point on, actually. But again, since Mylas is now here, I'm going to take the nice long scenic route. But let me first update my party. Oh, I forget. Let me just check if I got anything. Knighthood Excellence. Become an honorary knight of Favonius. Cool. I'll take that, and then I'm gonna update my party. I don't know... Um, for those of you who are playing this game, let me know if... Uh, if people who are not in your active party also get level up, because... It's a pity if I don't manage to level up the other characters, too. So, for now, we'll just switch. Here, let me help you. Put... Fischl... Behold! The Princess and Deva Otelon. Yeah. Thank you very much, Oz. And... Noel. Oh! How exciting! <clears throat> Thank you very much. Alright, oh, let's... So Myla says, oh, I need to go in a bit. Teleport away. All right. Okay, so with that, let's go teleport over to the Statue of the Seven in Windrise. Take me over there. Here I am. Venti. Venti Caramel Frappuccino, the only good Frappuccino, in my opinion, in Starbucks. Oh? What are you doing here? The game commanded me to follow you, of course. Though I was just wondering if you would happen to follow me. I want to know more about the Animo God. You speak of the God of Animo, Barbados? He already disappeared from Mondstadt a long time ago. How do you know that? Liyue and Inazuma's respective gods of Geo and Electro are still present, but Mondstadt has seen many a moon since they last saw their own god. Very suspicious how you know that. Why do you wish to know about the god of Animo? Does it have something to do with Dvalin? Maybe, because if we don't do anything about that very soon, Mondstadt will experience what I like to call Dvalin, and I can't get up. <laughs> can't resist. Because gods, um, 
Yes, someone told me about Duvalin's past. Just how is it that everyone sees Storm Terror? I'm quite curious. That said, there's no need to rush. I have not been back in a while. It seems there are a few who are unhappy with my arrival. Huh. The wind! I can't open my eyes! What is a creature like that doing out here in such a cold place? That's a good question. You think it was going after that green guy? Maybe it is. His relationship with the wind seems even deeper than yours. Electro power! We're gonna ground it a bit. E. Someone needs assistance. <laughs> oh, my sword doesn't barely does any damage to it. <laughs> okay, we'll change it a bit. Maybe I shouldn't have picked this team. I should have picked something else. I should have read up more on the abilities instead of just picking up a team in the hope that I could level them up. <laughs> Mylas says, logging off, keep on gaming and have fun. Thank you very much for dropping by still, Mylas. I appreciate your time. Need to work on the elemental reaction. So I've got two Electro, two Geo. Oz, reveal! Ha! Oz, reveal! Ha! That didn't do anything. <laughs> Woo! Okay, that didn't really do much. I swear I did a lot better earlier. But, can't do anything about that now. We gotta settle with this team. That didn't even hit that high. I'm just gonna shock you from down here. <laughs> Didn't even reach that high. You're in for a little shock. <laughs> so that was really a little. That didn't even do much. There we go. Seems the dragon wasn't the only thing affected by this change in the wind. Now then, you were saying someone had told you about the dragon? Yeah. Is that so? Quite the scholar, I must say that, Lisa. You should tell her. She's in my party right now. She's not wrong. The conflict has reached this point only because both sides have resorted to the use of force. His hate, however, did not arise from the people not making tribute to the Four Winds. Oh. Nor was it born from his own nature, but instead came about as a product of his degradation. Degradation? The black blood flowing through his heart has been torturing him for years. That's what has allowed him to be led astray by the lies of the Abyss Mage. Abyss Mage? I've never heard of such a name. I think I've heard of them before in Mondstadt. Well, I didn't hear of them, but I encountered them in one of the te temples. Correct. They are from the Abyss Order. An organization comprised of non-human beings. They despise mankind. Hmm, I wonder why. I don't know where they come from. All I know is that they hold deep hatred toward the human world. Many hilly trolls out in the wild take orders from them and act as their weapons. Before arriving here, I too was like Devalin, cursed and left to waste. Are you sure you should be referring to yourself in that manner? Because it sounds awfully suspicious. But now... Before us stands the symbol of Mondstadt's hero, the place from which Mondstadt rose. The wind amongst the branches is good. I love the way it smells. Being here with you beneath this great tree feels like when the tear was purified earlier. Like the poison is leaving my body. Mm, feels much better. So, how exactly did you get poisoned? Uh, that would be because I tried to communicate with Devalin earlier, but was interrupted. As a result, not only did I not manage to help Devalin break his curse, 
but instead was also infected myself. Oh, that's what happened early, way back in the prologue beginning. That was me? Yes, it was you. Hey, 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 it wasn't my fault, okay? I was just wandering by in the forest. Look at my so face. So to make up for it, you're coming with me to the cathedral. What? The Mondstadt Cathedral? To do what exactly? To claim a certain holy liar de Himmel. The holy liar... My German is very basic. But I think it's the holy liar of heaven. Let me know in the comments if it's correct. I'm not very, not very good with German. <laughs> But, that was a good job. We managed to get through that fight, even though, you know, we could have gone a lot better. But, I'm happy that we were able to cope. Let's just see what happens if I hit them. There we go, Electro Charge. That was a lot easier. You know, I'm not able to do too well with archers in this game. So, I do appreciate... Um, having long-range users like Lisa around in the early party. Walking is too hard. Let's teleport. <laughs> so we do so we can save time. So let's first switch our party. Make sure that we've got a more balanced lineup. I think I can probably just feed the rest of the group with books. So I can power them up. But for now, let's pick a more balanced lineup. Me. me. I think I'll stick with Lisa. And, uh... Move on to there. We go to bar. I'll take care of it. I I like her healing power. It's really nice. Me company for a while. I don't know There'll about you. Plenty of time for work later. Do you guys, when you play your video games, do you prefer having healing abilities or more destructive abilities? Because for me, if I were, let's say, to play a game like Final Fantasy fourteen, I would always go for like a white mage character. I always ha I always prefer having. Oh, uh, what's this? The means to heal people and myself. That's why well, when I used to the knights can do for you. I'm not talking to you, Otto. I'm talking to this venti guy over here. So this holy liar de Hamel is one of the most treasured items in Mondstadt. It's the liar that Barbados used to play. With it. Perhaps I can help Duval and draw his gentle nature back out of this nightmare he's going through. So we're gonna steal it. This is a heist. Will it really stop Storm Terror from causing more damage? Of course! I'm the best bard in the world. You only won a championship three times, that doesn't count. There's not a single song I do not know, no matter if it's from the past, present, or future. Okay, maybe you have bragging rights. Look me in the eyes. Do you not find me trustworthy? Just what is that in your eyes? What is... Yeah, that looks like a weird symbol on his eyes. Kind of reminds me of Lucina from Fire Emblem Awakening. Look into my eyes. What are you hiding? The color of your eyes is like the sky in my hometown. What kind of hometown did you have when the, eye, when the sky looks like this shade of green, Traveler? So what is it in your so eyes? So how can we get the Holy Liar? That didn't answer my question, but okay. It's said that it's enshrined deep within the cathedral, somewhere safe. I'll go take a look around. You can come if you want. For the sake of the gameplay, let's follow you. I know eating is not allowed in holy places, but I'm a bit hungry, and the snack of the night is Kit Kat. I don't know about you guys, but um, how do you prefer to eat your Kit Kat? Oh, Jill, 
Jillian's dropping by saying, hey, hey, thank you very much for dropping by, Jillian, on YouTube. And once again, I am streaming both on Twitch and YouTube. The links to my those um, channels are both in the about page of my Twitch and on the descriptions of my YouTube videos. Just search for Sir Spec. I'm the type of person that prefers to divide the Kit Kat in half. I've seen people that just take a bite directly of the Kit Kat. I'm not really a fan of that. Just like to divide it. But I would like to go to Japan because they have such things like uh, strawberry cream Kit Kat and green tea Kit Kat. It's such a big thing over there. <sighs> Apparently because Kit Kat in Japanese sounds like Kitokats or Kitokat. I forgot the exact term, but it's something like good luck or something like that. That's why there's Kit Kat is such like a big thing in Japan and that's why they have so many flavors. But of course, aside from eating, always make sure that you're well hydrated. Not just with coffee. The breeze is making me sleepy. Excuse me. Okay. <sighs> all right, all right. Okay, I know you're tired, <clears throat> Ether. Let's go. What should I get to take back to Lily? Sinner. Let me handle this. Okay, I'll let you take care of it then. Hello there, sister. May the Animo God bless you, young bard. How can I help you? Actually, I know a secret that can save Mondstadt from its current predicament. Oh, what a blessing from the God of Animo! But you should report that to the Knights of Favonius. Why have you come to me? <laughs> because you, dear sister, are able to help! I'd like to borrow the Holy Liar. With it, I'll be able to help Storm Terror. Please see yourselves out. <laughs> it's such a deadpan face. Hey, we're gonna save the world. You know, you just need to do this illegal thing for me. It's like, no. Just a big flat no with that face. That face right there just says she's seen enough. What? It's a vicious dragon indeed. But once the acting Grandmaster makes up her mind, nothing can stand in the night's way. That's simply not acceptable. Wouldn't Storm Terror end up getting killed that way? That foolish beast betrayed the winds. Not even the god of Animo themselves would forgive it. Hmm. Please, I beg of you. I'm afraid not, little bard. Strange. Somehow I feel so bad rejecting this sweet child. He's not sweet. Then... I guess I'm left with no other choice. I cannot hide anymore. My disciples, rejoice! Behold, the god of Animo, Barbados, has descended. Sure you are. Shocked, aren't you? Don't you just want to cry out and rejoice? How does it feel to finally meet the god you've been serving? If there's nothing else, I'll be going back to handle the cathedral's paperwork now. I was expecting that reply. Wait! So Jillian said, Kit Kat, eat it one by one. Just like me. Definitely like me. He says, wait! But I was expecting, wait! But it's more like, wait. What a letdown. Well, that went well, Venti. Gotlind, maybe I could try to convince you too. The church has been a mess recently, and the Seneschal is not here. <sighs> That's it? Okay. You know, I've always found this very suspicious that this was left open over here. Someone could just sneak <sighs> in here, you know? Maybe this is what we need to do later. Huh? She didn't even bat an eyelid. With such a claim like that, of course she wouldn't. But I have at least learned what I wanted to know. That is... She didn't deny that the cathedral is enshrining the Holy Liar. Ooh, smart. Now, since you're the hotshot of the Knights of Favonius, maybe you can give it a shot. I just talked to her. She didn't even talk to me about anything else. 
Okay, I'm gonna talk to you again because the game demands me to. Let's see if I can do it. Barbados bless you. Hello. No, we're gonna go for the pompous option. I am the honorary knight of Favonia, Sergei Svek. I know you. You and Amber saved Mondstadt that day. So what brings you here? Tasks from the acting Grand Master? Yes, actually, the Knights of Favonius would like to borrow the Holy Liar. Is that so? Yep. Not that I don't trust you. It's just that a suspicious bard came looking to borrow the Holy Liar as well. Oh, you suspicious bard, you say? <laughs> he was right- he's right over here, see? He can still hear everything we're talking about, but anyway, it's just you and me and Paimon. He's full of nonsense and even called himself Barbados. He must be up to something. This guy, this guard just appeared. There are regulations in place for the use of the Holy Liar. Currently, it's only used in Ludi Harpastum. Signed documents from the Grand Master, Seneschal, and Community Representative are all required. So, may I see the document from the Knights of Favonius? <laughs> the Grand Master didn't mention it. I'm sorry, I forgot to bring it here. Paimon ate it on our way here. You know what I'm gonna pick. We do it for the memes. Hey! Hey. I know you like to eat, so maybe you ate it with your fisherman's toast. A signed document is required. Without it, there's not much I can do. Now, if you'll excuse me, I really am quite busy as of late. You know what, on second thought, I'm gonna go switch my party so that, um, Fischl can also get some levels. Oh, how exciting! <clears throat> Behold, the Princess and Deva Otalon. I just hope it doesn't change the cutscenes in any way. Come on, Venti. Let's talk. Oh, it didn't work. I knew it. It was worth a shot. And we're discussing it right in her presence. <laughs> you knew it? I just wanted to know how influential the hotshot of the Knights of Favonius is. You see, the best warrior should always be presented with the best sword. And yet here we are. I just got knighted earlier, you know. Does the story not make for a fitting ballad? So what are you trying to say? That we're not good enough? No, that's not it. More of a commentary regarding Mondstadt's inability to see the warrior standing right before its very eyes. Very well. Looks like borrowing it is not going to be possible. We're simply going to have to steal it. Today we stand for free will! Any suggestions on just how we steal it? Yeah, let's go raise your voice right in front of the sister who just rejected us. And in front of the guard. Come now, speak up. That's what free will is for. I don't want to steal anything. I want to, I want to stay clean. My hands are clean. <laughs> Look at you. Sidetracked from the start. I'm just trying to live a clean life. But seriously, you're more suitable for the job than I. Why should I be the one? Aside from singing, I don't really have any other talents. You're useless, then. Besides, if I was caught, I'd have no one to write the grave injustice of my arrest. How can it be a grave injustice if you got caught stealing red-handed? But things are different for you. You are the superstar of the Knights of Favonius. You have made contributions to Mondstadt. Ah, uh, clout. Wave our clout around. Should you get caught, you would easily be able to talk your way out of it. So, I'm like a medieval influencer, <laughs> I suppose. The guards here, it seems they're off duty throughout the night. If we manage to seize this opportunity, it should be smooth sailing from here. Stop mentioning us getting caught! Don't jinx what it. What do you say? I'm sorry. Wait, did you s just say you're Barbados? Ah, uh, yes. Seems I did mention that. Your point being? If you really are a god, then we can't simply abandon you. Why does your decision hinge upon whether or not I am a god? Because you are a god. Simple. Paimon will fill you in 
on her background story when we get the time. And if you're not a god, then I'll help Dvalin anyway. Huh? I will bring... I don't want to see another... I will either bring you the Holy Liar to Himmel, or I don't want to see another separation. Let's keep our sister in mind. Our missing sister, Lumine. To, to quickly advance the time of day, open the Paimon menu. Enter the time menu. Move the hand to the time you want to see. To wait until and press confirm. Don't be shy. Go! Okay then. Whoa! Whoa. So I can't just enter the keys, okay. I created Not now official, I don't want your speeches. Made in heaven. We just stood there. <laughs> Not moving anymore. Another universe. And founded paradise. You're putting me through so much trouble, Venti. And somehow I missed at point blank range. I knew it. Why did they actually have this thing open if it's gonna cause this much trouble? Careless, careless mortals. Infiltrate the basement and obtain the Holy Liar der Himmel. So it's a sneaking mission now, huh? Sneaky, sneaky. I'm a master at Metal Gear Solid and Assassin's Creed. And by master, I mean... Even though I get caught, I eliminate all witnesses. Because there are no witnesses. There will be no witnesses if you eliminate all witnesses. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Okay. Oh boy. Deep breaths, deep breaths. I can't jump, what? Something tells me this is gonna happen a lot more often when I advance the game. It's not even a crouch button. Normally you would expect things like a crouch button to help you sneak along. Hi there! You know, I thought I could just rush it, but apparently rushing is not a good idea. <laughs> okay, Venti, I'm gonna try again for your sake. Haste makes waste. Let's take it nice and slow. Which is not exactly my strong suit, unfortunately. Like I said, I may play the, the stealth games, but I'm very good at getting caught. Are they moving? Steady. Steady gaze. So, that way is out of the question. Okay, run, 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 run.
Oh boy. Okay, turn around. Turn around. Go back where you came from. Now just sneakily follow behind you. <laughs> First try. Hello. Aw, oh, man. She disappeared. Freeze. Oh, what are you doing great. Here? No, run! We're going to have to bull rush our way out, maybe. Great. Why do they always have to steal it right when we're going to get that thing? Oh, no. We're busted. Run. What? Follow me. We gotta get out of here! Ow! <laughs> Go through the circles, my favorite mini game. Ah, oh boy! Too low, too low. It's official! It's official! We're in trouble. Leg it, leg it, leg it. Get in here. Whew. Master D. Luke, this is this week's accounts. <sighs> the disaster has greatly affected business. Well, let's hope it all ends soon. We'd like a seat at your, uh, the least conspicuous table. That's not a good way to introduce yourself when, you end, when you're trying to run away. Um, the second floor has fewer customers. You'd be less conspicuous up there. But aren't you a bard? Why not sit front and center? <laughs> Let's save the paid performance for next time. We'll be heading up now. See you in a bit. Hey. Keep an eye on them. There's something strange about that bard. I'll go ask around. Ask who, exactly? Good question. The protectors of Mondstadt. I'll, uh... You didn't see nothing, Dilluk. You didn't see nothing. <laughs> What'll it be today? I'd like to buy something to drink. Let me know once you're ready to order. Cool. I'm not a drinker. You got anything that's non-alcoholic? Hey, it's all non-alcoholic. Cool. Wolf hook juice. Increases all party members attacked by 114 for 300 seconds. Blah, blah, blah. A freshly squeezed, fashionable, and fruity non-alcoholic beverage. Iced wolf hook juice mixed with a pinch of other ingredients, forming the dreamy shade of violet. Berry and mint burst. A, a refreshing burst of mint with berries to sweeten the deal that has an exquisite aroma. Said to have a strong sobering effect, tavern patrons often order this as the last drink of the night. Interesting. The one that I would like to drink the most, most likely, is apple cider, because I do like apple cider. 3,000? Are you kidding me? Fine. Man, you are, you are, you're selling a premium on these drinks. I just hope it's, it's as good as it claims to be. Don't forget, stay hydrated. You know, what would you like? I would like to take a drink if you don't mind. I haven't used Coleman's like these ever since I was in elementary school. You could really tell. Um, someone was serious in their drinking if you could bring a Coleman, because... I created another universe and founded paradise. For I, Fischl, and the Princess and Differ... What would you like? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is perfect. 
<laughs> that was perfect. Oh my goodness. The timing interrupted her right when she was making her speech. <sighs> Lovely. Nothing beats a good drink of water. Okay. Not going upstairs yet? You both seemed to be in a hurry. Well, you know, we gotta take our time and... Not going upstairs. Maybe have our seat at the bar. I wanna see what it looks like when we sit down. <laughs> Nothing suspicious here. Not going here. upstairs yet? You both seem... Where is the second floor? Oh, there we go. Let's stick with Barbara. She's she's uh, associated anyway with the church, so least conspicuous, I guess. Uh, Master D, look, have you seen two thieves around? What happened? Why have you mobilized so many guards? <sighs> Haven't you heard, Master D, look? Two thieves are trying to steal the Holy Liar. Huh? How odd. Isn't it? The Holy Liar is a treasure that was played by the god of animal themselves. Such a precious piece of cultural heritage. Why would one want to steal something they can't sell off? Would pay better to steal from my sellers. Ooh. Huh? Proud are you? Sorry, off topic. Believe they headed that way. Understood. Thank you, Master D. Luke. Hmm. What have you get to gain to help us? I'm just sitting here, being inconspicuous, you know. Go nothing to see go. here. I'm just checking if there's anything that I could steal, I mean, borrow, from this bar. You never can tell. <laughs> She's so small, you can't even see her past the bottle. Today, I think I'll have a glass of... You can put down that bottle you stole from behind the counter. Something cold. Right. I want answers. Let me finish my drink first. I'll pay you. Well, with a performance. Wow. No money on you. Great. It's not about money. You seem too young to be drinking. No need to worry. When I started drinking, you were still... Yeah, how about you answer start my question? You start answering my question first. Oh, you want to ask, who's this? Am I right? Of course. He is Master Diluc, the boss of... the... the owner of this tavern. He's very famous. By the way, his dandelion wine is one of my favorites. Although most of the time I can only afford a bottle or two. I just heard about some thieves from the guards. For the record, I like your guts for trying to steal the Holy Lyo de Hamel. Even if you are fools. But we don't often get to see people like you. It wasn't us that stole it. The real thief is still out there. This is the hotshot of the Knights of Favonius. Why would someone so aspiring steal Mondstadt's sacred treasure? I don't know. Maybe they want to become a member and then steal it right behind their backs. But that's not me. Hotshot? Oh, so it's you. So, you and the Bard are close friends? We're not close, actually. Well, despite only being a passing traveler, you still offered your help to Mondstadt in its time of need. A shame you joined the Knights. The Knights of Favonius. <laughs> Inefficient right from beginning to end. Hey. You're so mean. And towards the Fatui? Weak and conservative. <sighs> Forget it. I don't feel like talking about it. Sounds like you have a very big history with the Knights, Diluc. Seems you don't really like the Knights of Favonius. Exactly. Just differences in approach is all. I have my own hopes for this city. You sound like Batman. <laughs> Red-haired Batman. No wonder they call him Batman in TV tropes. Or at least in the forums. Now, answers. 
Why did you steal the Holy Liar? You sure you want to know? It could implicate you in the affairs of the Knights of Favonius. That's fine. I somehow always end up implicated in their affairs. If I tell you the story with a performance, will you believe me? It depends. I'll make my own judgment. Then will I get paid? Hmm. Your reward will range from anywhere between five Mora and the Holy Liar. It all depends on your story. Very well. Let me put on a show. What did I just witness? <laughs> the tone of the voice makes it sound like it made no sense at all. This is confidential information. Why did you let me know? Oh, so he was impressed. Why? Hmm, perhaps the winds are changing. What say you, Master D. Luke? Interesting. Give me some time. I'll organize some contacts. Outlander, as one of the knights, it seems you're not a suspect. Blonde is the only description on the wanted poster. You should be safe. As for the bard, however, it'd be better if you stayed in the tavern. <laughs> no problem. I like taverns. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's meet here tonight after the tavern closes. Knights and their naughty issues. Remember, don't forget our meeting tomorrow night. Do we get a penalty if we miss it? Okay, got it. Tomorrow night, right? Don't worry, I'll show up. We just gotta wait right here. <laughs> Leave the tavern. Can't I just advance time again? Sounds awfully impractical if I have to leave. Wait until the tavern is closed. Okay. <laughs> So I just got to do a bunch of stuff. The problem with this game? You cannot pet the dog. The Equals bad game already for me. Timaeus, Scholar of Alchemy. Alchemy truly is fascinating. When Lisa crafts a potion, she has 20% chance to refund a portion of the crafting materials used. <clears throat> I don't really know what's going on here, so I'll just... <clears throat> I'll just, uh, pretend what and leave. Alchemy truly is fascinating. Hey, Blanche. Blanche! Blanche, why do I keep mixing up the pronunciation? Hey there, we have quality goods at honest prices. What do you have for sale here? Or no, well, I'd like to ask about something. I am listening. What makes Mondstadt General Goods special? Our shop may be small, but we do have a warehouse in Lee Wei Harbor. Oh, I, I just went there. We take pride in having the largest catalog of items and the fastest shipping in all of Mondstadt. Cool. Can I buy stuff now? Have a look around. Okay, what do you got? Oh. Cool. Right, let's buy some milk. I think we can use that for recipes. Pepper. Always good to have some pepper. Black pepper. Best thing in the world. And some salt. Leave the salt out of your games. And leave them in your dishes. Trust me, it's a lot better for your health that way. And then I think we're good. Let's go do some cooking. 
I wonder what would happen if I jumped behind the ship. Has the most prosperous commercial port in all of Tibet. I still can't get over the fact that they pronounce it as Tivat instead of what I used to call it, Tevat. Hey, Sarah. Welcome to Good Hunter. How can I help you? Reminds me of that very old movie, Good Burger. You know, uh, from Nickelodeon, that one where, Welcome to Good Burger, home the Good Burgers. Can I take your order? So, in this case, it would be, Welcome to Good Hunter, home of the Fisherman's Toast. How can I help you? Can I get some food? Cream. Smoked fowl. Okay. Oh, so this is an ingredient. All right. You know, I, I like to buy stuff like, you know, Wow, look at that butter. 2700 for 10 blocks of butter. Goodness gracious. It reminds me of this YouTuber um, that I used to watch his name, or watch his name is Fisherman's Life. And I pretty much call him the butter guy. And he even has a boat called the butter boat. Because whenever he does his fishing, he cooks his fish almost always in the same way. Fillets the, guts the fish, fillets it, frying pan, butter. And whenever he says a bit of butter, he dumps an entire stick inside. And I remember when he used, when he even made this joke where he got a knife and then he cut into the bit of butter and then put a small cube in. Or no, he cut a small cube and then he put in the rest of the stick. And then he said, oh, it's not enough. And then he still put in the small cube. I don't know how after all this time he's still able to um, he still looks quite fit, but I don't want to see what his his um, arteries look like. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just I can't believe you know how someone would love the taste that much. But again, to each his own. Um, I think all that fishing is done is very good exercise for him, I suppose. Cream is much cheaper in comparison. Have, has any one of you ever actually made butter? If you have a if if you have a a table mixer, it's a lot. It's very easy. But woe to the person who ever tried to mix butter with their hands. Goodness gracious, it's such a pain. Even if it's just something like whipping cream with your bare hands with a spatula, I I just quit right then and there. So let's do a bit of cooking. Let's just see. Hey, we got a recipe. Learn. Fried radish balls. Satisfying salad. Golden chicken burger. I like this. Fragrant mashed potatoes. Fisherman's toast. Okay, let's get this, uh... Fragrant mashed potatoes. Okay. Seasoned mashed potatoes. The potatoes were thoroughly mashed before a sauce was drizzled over them. The mouthfeel is soft and smooth, and it has a rich, multi-layered flavor profile. Goodness gracious, it feels like I'm reviewing restaurants again. A satisfying choice for a hungry stomach, whether as a side or as a main dish. Anybody who's skilled at this? No. All right. Cook manually. Nice. Oh, you need to get 15. All right. Let's get this chicken burger. I don't know about you, but whenever I eat beef burgers nowadays, well, especially if they're the really greasy ones, I usually get dizzy afterwards, so chicken burger is the way that I go. Hello. Okay, stick to Barbara, because when you get perfect cooking, it gets 12% chance to obtain double the product. Oh, that was close. That was close. <laughs> right at the very edge. And a satisfying salad. All right, let's just do that. I just feel like cooking. Cooking is... I like cooking mini games, And especially, I like this one too, because you really have to decide when is the best time to stop. Perfect. Nice. I'm good. All right, let's do one more. Okay. Yeah, I think we're good. And then let's just... 
advance time, and then we'll head back. Hey, there's a lady over there waving to you. Oh yeah, there's this one quest. Let's, Let's just go and see what she wants. Let's just talk to Catherine real quick. I think this is what I need for the daily commissions. I still haven't done that yet. Welcome to the Adventurous Guild. Actually, I have had my eye on you for a long time. Ooh, did you now? You've had your eye on him, eh? Has she been causing some mischief? Hmm. Oh, that is not what I meant at all. Being on the lookout for great adventurers is part of my job. Really now? When I look at you, I see one with the potential to rival the great adventurers of Legends. Are you sure you're not just buttering me up so I can do some work for you? Paimon sees it too. Oh, thank you, Paimon. Paimon always feels safe adventuring with him. Nevertheless, to the adventurer, experience is far more precious than potential. You must accumulate adventurer experience to increase your adventure rank. How do Time they know is of these the things? Essence. Allow me to brief you on... Wait, are you saying we're like official adventurers now? Do not worry. The Adventurers Guild does not charge a membership fee or impose any kind of duties on its members. In short, there are lots of benefits, but no drawbacks to becoming a member. Okay, but give me the benefits now. <laughs> New recruits these days certainly do not beat around the bush. Basically, the Adventurers Guild rewards you every time your adventure rank increases. Here is a new member's gift for you. You will need to return here to claim rewards in the future. Cool. Claim rewards. Okay. Nice. Oh, we keep going. And 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 going. Oh, prototype Rancor. Okay. And going. Nice. Without further ado, please allow me to officially welcome you, our new avid adventurer, into the guild. Nice. Here is your adventurer handbook. They have a handbook for that now? This looks like a marketing <laughs> pamphlet. <laughs> it is, in a way. But it has some practical uses, too. Such as? It has a record of available commissions and rewards. And it is also proof of your membership. Hmm. Oh, and one more thing. Sometimes you will find yourself stuck at a certain adventure rank. When this happens, you need to perform some impressive feats to gain further recognition from the guild. I see. Impressive feats? Sounds like hazing to me. Oh, you have no idea about hazing, Paimon. They are simply specific adventures that allow you to ascend to the next adventure rank on completion. Ascension adventures, if you will. But that will come later. Opportunities to win recognition will come as you gain more adventure experience. That will do for today. We will have plenty of chances to meet again in the future. Ad Astra Abyssosk, adventurer. With effort, you shall reach the stars and conquer the abyss. Okay. Press F1. It's a laptop, so I have to still have to press the F1 bu FN button. Is it the statue of the seven? Cool. Activate three teleport waypoints. Open 15 chests. Upgrade the statues of the seven to level two. Claim them all. Nice. Chapter two. Six teleport waypoints, wow. This is, you know, all that wandering paid off. 30 chests. Statues of the Seven to level four. Cook five dishes. Level 10 weapon. Four artifacts on a single a character. Now I just need a Cryo Abyss Mage. I think I'll have find one of those in Dragon Spine. Yeah. Oh, these are the big ones. Regis Fine, Hypostasis. Oh boy. Okay.
We'll take care of that later. For now, I think it's time to talk to Diluc. It's just seven, okay. Alright, let's just talk to Catherine for a bit. Find out what she wants. We meet again, avid adventurer. I was here just a second ago. Are your adventures going smoothly? I'm like a well-oiled venturing machine. That is the spirit. Keep it up. It seems that you have a wealth of experience under your belt now. Time to introduce you to the formal work of the guild. The guild receives requests from far and wide each day, and assigns commissions to adventurers accordingly. Hmm. These commissioned adventures are the main source of compensation for our guild members. What kind of commissions are they? What do I get to do? It is a mixed bag. Anything from running an errand for fellow citizens to dealing with monsters. Some are textbook, others are extremely dangerous. I like danger. But you do not have to take my word for it. You should find out for yourself. Here you can find the details of today's commissions. Please report back to me upon completion. There will be a generous reward waiting for you. Just how generous are we talking? Patience is a virtue. You will find out soon enough. I'm sure you will not be disappointed. Fine. I await your return with great anticipation. Add Astra Abyssosk. Open the map to see the area with ongoing events. Proceed to an area to learn about the events going on there. The Adventurer Handbook also keeps a record of many things. Check it regularly. So... Daily commissions. Ah. Okay. Bunch of stuff here. Alright. Okay. Okay, but we don't need to go there at the moment. Fail to borrow the Holy Relic, but learn of the Knight's Dilemma. More Prima Gems. I wish I could get more stuff for, for the Wish system. That would be great. Uh... What can I do? Uh... Ah, oh yeah, what was I gonna do? Ah, oh yeah, the quests. Okay, and then... Amber, Kaya... No, the other quest, Paimon said there's something here. There we go. Let's go here first. Oh, it's just right here. Doesn't that shop look interesting? Let's see what they're selling. <laughs> Out of the way, Marjorie. Come take a look. There will definitely be something that Every treasure Welcome. here is Every treasure here is unique. Guaranteed. <laughs> yep. There's nothing here that Paimon recognizes. That's for sure. <laughs> what did I tell you? These are all rare items brought back by adventurers from all corners of the world. Is there anything that catches your eye? I daren't ask about the prize. No need. I forgot to mention, I operate on a trading basis. Goods for goods. What? No Laura accepted here. So I got a barter? Okay. I've been trying to make something a bit special recently, and I need a lot of Animo sigils to decorate it with. Do you have any Animo sigils with you? What are those? What are those? It's like a seal or emblem that the Animo Archon gives to adventurers as a form of acknowledgement. More to the point, any animal sigils you find, you can trade in here for items in the shop. Hmm, okay then. So I need 10 of these. What a guy, what do I do? What does this do? Ah, character ascension material, all right. Weapon essential ascension material. Wow, okay, so some of these are available only on specific days. So for one, I get 1600 Mora. When you need some more cash, but you don't, so you don't dine and dash, you need Mora. There we go. I don't need it right now. Animo sigils appear all over Mondstadt. If you find yourself short, just keep exploring. Absolutely! What could be more beautiful than a gift from the Animal Archon? I don't know. Real Mora? 
More money, I guess? <laughs> okay, you got me. It's actually more complicated than that, but it's easier for people to understand if I just say it's for decoration. Okay, then. Obviously, the reason I need Animo sigils is because they have properties that other materials cannot provide. I feel like you're making this sound more mysterious than it actually is. But it's working! Paimon's curious now! <laughs> well, it wouldn't be much of a surprise if I gave everything away now, would it? I suppose. Do come again soon, and bring me lots and lots of Animo sigils next time. Please also visit if you come across any weird and wonderful treasures on your adventures. Okay, then I'll keep that in mind. Okay, so... Let's just fix the party. I want to bring back... I want to bring back the Traveler. There's still a long road ahead. There really is, bro. So... Noelle, you're out. I don't need two Geos this in this... This be interesting. Yeah, I think this will work. Huh? Go, Barbara, go! <laughs> what time is it now, though? Wait, what was that? Complete... Okay, yeah. Alright, and then let's check the time in the game. 23.52. So... Say... Yeah. Uh, nothing suspicious about me just standing here for more than 30 minutes. Recruitment Anything guide. Can do for you? Okay, we'll read that later. Missing person poster. Looking for a missing young female. Has blonde hair, wears exotic clothes. Any information or assistance is greatly welcome. Oh, that's just mine. Please report to Outrider Amber with any information you may have. Many thanks. Enter the tavern. Don't forget to move when you're watching. I don't have the luxury of moving, so be with her. Wait, you're Jean. Well, first of all, I contacted more than one person. Secondly, she came here as Jean herself, not as the acting grandmaster. Hmm. A Jean you would never see, even as an honorary knight. What a surprise. I heard about the Holy Liar, but I never suspected it was you. So, the sound of the Holy Liar can purify Storm Terror and return it to normal? Is that true? That's right! Your honorary knight is putting themselves on the front line to try and resolve this Storm Terror issue. Now that's the hot shot of the Knights of Favonius I'm talking about. Feels like we're breaking the law, though. Yeah, we are. I understand this kind of absurd explanation is hard to believe. But we can ask the Bard to play the song again to try and persuade... I believe you. Oh wow, that was fast. To persuade our stubborn command... Wait, what? I can't think of any reason for Devalin's betrayal, given it was once one of the Four Winds. However, if it was poisoned in the battle over Mondstadt all those years ago... And then corrupted by the Abyss Mage after it woke up, we can't really blame it. But as Acting Grandmaster, I obviously cannot make such a statement publicly. Diplomatic pressure from the Fatui makes it hard for us to seek a peaceful resolution to the Storm Terror issue. You know what you say to the Fatui? Tui! I wanted to say that, sorry. People would think I've lost grip on the gravity of the situation. That's why I can only do this in private. But you're wearing your uniform. You're, you're kind of being conspicuous, you know. <laughs> He's just so done with this. That's one of the reasons I don't like the Knights of Favonius. What surprises me is that you would believe an outlander so easily. 
my cautious and meticulous superior. Even you trust him, don't you, sir? Hmm. I already told you not to call me sir. Never mind. We don't often get to work together after all. Sir? Uh... <clears throat> hmm. The tension. Wow. Um, this is really awkward. You don't say, Paimon. I have a rough idea of where the Holy Liar de Hamel is. Nice recovery. She's really talented at changing the subject. Yep. The conflict between Mondstadt and Shneznaya stems from the conflict between the Seven Nations and their respective gods. The Cryo Gods Fatui seem to be after the Animo Gods' power. Uh. So are they going to take over the defense of Mondstadt? Do they want to kill Dvalin? Right. If the Knights of Favonius publicly prevented an attempt on Duvalin's head, then the only other way to affect the Animo God's power is to take the Holy Liar. Ooh. The number of Fatui that have come to Mondstadt is far from limited. I've already managed to coerce a few reports out of them. Interesting methodology. Diluc has determined that the Holy Liar is not being held in the Goth Grand Hotel. I thought it was there. I could just walk over there. I imagine they don't want to leave something stolen in a place where it could be so easily found. Paimon gets it. If too much of a scene gets made, then it becomes a big diplomatic issue. Thank you for understanding, Paimon. <laughs> Such is the diplomacy between the Seven Nations. Outlander, ready to go? Wait a second. So, before we do anything else... Let's sit down and have a picture. Because I think we're good enough for tonight. I'll just take a picture and we can wrap up this stream for tonight. I think this is a good thumbnail. The light just turned on, wow, okay. <laughs> okay, so... I, I think I'm gonna change my phys my facial expression. Happy! I don't like this, the, the happy face, it looks kinda creepy on him. Can we do the thinking here? No. Okay. So, wait, let's get back. Let's sit down, and just take the picture from there. This is the problem. Thumbnails are so hard to make. Yeah, there we go. Now we're talking. Nice and centered. Okay, I think we're good enough for tonight. Let's go ahead and uh, wrap things up. In here. Okay, thanks again everybody for dropping by to the stream. I appreciate everybody who stuck around. And uh, we'll go ahead and continue from this, um, the story during the next stream. So, since it's going to be the weekday, um, it's already Monday morning, 1.19am on my time. So, moving forward in the weekdays, if I do continue streaming more Genshin Impact, it might be at a different time. So if you guys want to follow along, make sure that you follow me on YouTube, the Sir J Spec YouTube channel. And if you want to see the stream, you can also follow me on Sir J Spec Twitch is the name of my Twitch channel. But if you also want to get a um, link to, to get to the announcements, first, always go to or follow me on my Discord server, which is known as the Serjavian Nation. Like I always say, all of the links to my social media are on my uh, the description of my YouTube videos and the about page of my Twitch. So thanks again everybody for dropping by. I do appreciate everybody who stuck around. And for those of you who are new um, and you like the content, feel free to give me a follow or a like or subscribe. I appreciate it very much and I thank you very much for staying here. So once again, I would like to say salutations Sir Javians. This is Sir J Spec saying you take care. And always stay safe. Take it away, David.